what's happening here. Hmm. Oh, good morning, everybody. Just doing a little electrical repair here on the trailer side of the house. The uh, this is the original plug that came on the on the Rambler here. It's a 1970, so this thing's almost 50 years old. It was getting where I was losing uh, connection going down the road. And my brake light would come on saying no connection, uh, indicating the trailer wasn't hooked up, and my running lights would go out. And I di diagnosed the problem down to this just old plug. It's just wore out. So I cut it off, wring it out. I'm pretty sure how it hooks. I got a hookup sheet in the trailer. But here's the new plug I ordered. This one was eight bucks online. It's a, it's a Kurt. So it's a replacement plug for this one. This is a molded on plug. But I'll put a little silicone on this one to seal it all up. It should be just fine. The gnats are eating me. Anyway, so this is what we're doing. I gotta prep it and put it in here and hook it up. So it goes in there and it goes inside. If you look at it like that. And hopefully that'll fix our problem of the lights going out going down the road and the indicator coming on saying I ain't got no brakes on the trailer. <laughs> because I would what I would do, I'd bend these prongs. Then it would work for a little bit, then it stopped again, so. But I checked everything on the truck side. Everything on the truck side is good. Checked the connections on that plug and everything there. It was all fine. But this is, uh, I think this is a culprit. And if it's not, then we'll continue on. When it's an intermittent thing, you, you take your best choice with the electrical stuff. You do the most, uh, the simplest, cheapest thing first. Exactly. So if it comes, to the, maybe it's in the cable, maybe it's a loose connection in the box in there. Check those. It didn't look like it. Those are, those are. Uh, You're talking there. about this little box right here. Yeah, this. It goes inside the trailer. And there's a there's a terminal board on the back right. side of that. Right. Inside. Inside. Yeah. All under the bench. Be, yeah, under the bench. I have an access door to everything that I have to get to on this trailer. When we remodel it, that's what I did. I put access doors to key points and locations. For this trailer application, this is a seven pin camping RV fifth wheel type of hookup wiring hookup. You look on the e trailer they have different ones some of them are slightly different with the wiring commercial grade trailers are a little different some of the wires are not in the right spot there's in a different spot not the right spot a different spot for those types of trailers but uh, this right here this screw here comes out on this plug and the way this thing is i just push it there's the cable lock when the cable goes in with a gr there's a grommet right there so i just take this thing and i push it pops out. Lay that down. You just got a it's got a pin guide right here. So this thing it goes in one way and it's got a key lock right here when this goes screws down. Now this stuff just snug tight stuff because this is all plastic. The only thing is torque tight will be these right here, good torque on these when I put the wires in these slots here. And I'll show you about that here in a little bit. But that's the plug itself, the way it comes. It goes right back in there like that. So we'll hook it all up and I'll show you the different aspects of it.
putting the pins in the right slot. She works. See how good Mr. Childers is. It's got to turn the lights on now. And we have success! Woohoo! Alright. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yes. We'll do reverse and get the back of line. All right. Reverse to see if we got a backup light. And we do. Success. Yes. Woohoo. The man is good, folks. The man is good. New plug here. It's got a grommet tightening screw there. Sweet. That's so good. I'm gonna put some more lube in there. They make a lube for your receptacle, so I've got some. All right. Put in there. So we are good to travel. Seems to be. I mean, yes. You know, let's say instead of buying thirty dollars for a cable and plug, I just bought the plug for eight bucks. To make sure that that's that was the problem. Later on, I might get a whole cable assembly, but if this works good, why bother? You know, you go to the simplest things first. Before, I couldn't even get the I couldn't even get the um, uh, running lights or tail tail lights to come yeah. on. Yeah, they wouldn't stay on. Right. But now they stay on. So, well, we'll know going down the road. I'm sure this is what the problem was. This is just a the old plug was just wore out. And our truck actually has a feature to where it, where it tells us that it's not working. Right, right. It tells us. So. So, okay. We're okay. all good. All right.